Hey, welcome back to the Joe Peeps channel. Naturally, I'm Joe Peeps. And here we are a couple days after Christmas. And I hope you got everything you wanted. All right. So let's get on with the video. Basically, before we get started, just to let you know, the Christmas story is more like a rant. Yeah, it's a rant. Whether you agree with me or not, at the end, just remember this. I'm here to entertain you. That's all. This is just entertainment. So don't uh, don't write any letters because I'm not going to answer them anyway. So here we go. Joe Peeps Christmas story. God bless everyone. couple of days before Christmas, I turned to my wife and I said, come on, let's go out for dinner one night, right? So I wound up picking a place uh, she's been to already, a place that we wanted to go together, but she's been there before with her friends, you know, and she came back, she gave it a good review, she said it was good and, you know, we should go. So I said, hey, what the heck, let's go tonight. It'll be a nice, quiet night. It'll be a good time. I'm not going to tell you the name of the restaurant because I don't want to do that, but you know, it's no, it's no pop-up restaurant. It's a well-known place. It's got three locations throughout Long Island, right? So we went up pulling up to the building, which is a standalone building. The restaurant is. They were in their own separate building. And I don't really know what the parking situation is. Uh, so I tell my wife, I'll drop you off at the front door. You can go in. Grab a table, wait for me, whatever you want to do. I'll drop you off here and I'll go park, right? So as we're out front, you know, I'm looking at the building and something's not right. You know, something, couldn't put my finger on it, but something's not right. I mean, not bad. It wasn't bad, like dangerous or anything like that. It just, something wasn't right, you know? I didn't give it much thought. So I go and park the car. So now I'm walking back to the building and I realize... Hits me like a ton of bricks. There's not one Christmas light on this whole building. None around the door. None around the windows. No Christmas lights uh, in the window. Not on the bushes. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll, I'll give it to you. Maybe, you know, you guys didn't want to do it that way. I don't know. So now I say to myself, oh, there's got to be my Christmas spirit radar now goes off, right? Now I'm looking. Now I'm looking. I'm trying to make things add up. Well, okay, you know, maybe they'll have a, a great or phenomenal decor inside, right? Because I'll tell you, to me, restaurants start the holiday season off. You know, you ever walk into a restaurant and the, at Christmas time and the place is, is decorated, like, beautifully? Oh, I love that. I don't know if you do or not, but... That gets me that gets me like in a festive mood, you know, hey, the holidays are here, let's have a good time, you're gonna have a good time here, but whatever. So now I walk up to the doors, the front doors, and like I said, I was expecting like a Christmas wreath in the front, right? To double doors. You open up from the middle. Right? None. There was nothing there. So I said to myself, and then behind those doors is a vestibule. So I said, you know what? That place has got to be done up pretty nice. You know, the vestibule in there. So I actually get in there and I look around and Ugats. You know what Ugats means? Nothing. There wasn't Christmas light, a snowflake, a snowman, a reindeer, Santa, nothing. God forbid a menorah or a, a nativity scene. Oh my gosh. God forbid. Right, so now I'm already sour on the place. I didn't even make it. I didn't even make it through into the restaurant. I'm already sour. Right, so I walk through the doors. I look to the left. And I look to the right. And this particular restaurant on, on the left hand side is the bar and a few tables, and on the right is the restaurant part to it. Right, so I say to myself, okay, "Got to be something over by by the bar, right?" got to be something that's the most festive place in a restaurant is the bar you would think you know i look over there 
Nothing. Not even a mistletoe hanging. How many bars you've been to in your lifetime that there's always been mistletoe hanging, hanging over by the bar to get people like in the Christmas spirit, you know? Hey, you know, you got to kiss me, all that good stuff, right? New start of new relationships, stuff like that. Wasn't even there. So now I turn to the right and I go and I see my wife sitting down at the table and I go, I walk over to her, I go, come on, let's go, let's get out of here. She looks at me, she looks at me and go, what's going on? What's wrong? What's wrong? I said, did you look around this place? I said, there's not one stitch of anything Christmas here. Nothing. So now she looks at me like with this weird look, listen, between me and you, I knew she knew. She didn't think I would catch it, but I caught it. She goes, uh, come on, sit down. Uh, I want to eat here. I said, no, let's get out of here. She's like, no, no, no. I want to eat here. I want to eat here. All right. So what did Joe Peeps do? Joe Peeps gives in. I sit down. And now I'm looking around the place. Now I'm getting aggravated, you know, because now I'm looking. I'm looking for any any decor, anything, okay? You don't want to, you don't want to get religious okay put up an icicle do something a snowflake uh i can name you know you can name uh, a bell nothing all right even give me even give me elf on a shelf you know what i'll take uh snoop snoop on a stoop i'll even take that guy even though i'm not a fan but i'll take it give me something nothing there was nothing so I turn to my wife and I tell her, listen, when the waitress comes over here, I'm going to ask her what the story is here, right? I want to find out how come nothing. There's nothing here. I mean, not even not even red, not even red napkins. I, I, come on, nothing. It was nothing. You would swear you walked into this place in the middle of summer. That's, that's what kind of decor was going on. So I tell my wife, I'm going to say something. Right to the waitress. I want to find out what the story is. Right, right away. My wife grabbed my arm. Oh, you're gonna cause a scene. Stop getting so crazy about it. You know, can't you let it go? I go. I go. All right, I'll let it go this time. I said they got me this time. I said, but they won't get me again. I said because I'm never coming back here again. All right. Listen, between me and you, you know what the deal there was. Okay. You know what it is. I know what it is. And deep down inside, you know what it is. Okay? You want to make some type of political statement against Christmas and against Christ and all that. Hey, call me call me what you want, but you know I'm right. You know it, right? I don't understand. There's like two there's like two holidays that are celebrated worldwide, okay? And you know what? You all have to do around Jesus Christ. Don't deny it. Don't deny it. You want to make a political statement? I'm going to make a political statement. This is why places like this, I don't spend my money. I don't spend my money in these type of establishments. You know, Nike, when they got all political, listen, I, I, I like Nike. I love Nike. But when they got all political, you know, they, they got me sour too. I haven't bought... A Nike product since then and I really feel the same way with any other company or any other establishment that wants to get political you know uh, even these actors and actresses just keep your mouth shut right nobody wants to hear your political views all right just keep your mouth shut and do what you do best act entertain entertain other human beings Ooh, right that you get exorbitant amounts of money on you're in no place to preach to anybody about anything. So I didn't want to get it political. Now it got political. So I'm sorry. I, I truly am. But I really hope everybody's Christmas was good. Uh, we're closing in on New Year's. Just to let you know I got a new camera. I got that new camera, that 360 camera. I was out there fooling around with it today. Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love the video that that uh, that thing makes, man. Oof, it's great. But I should have a video, I don't know, a couple of weeks on that. So just got to sit tight and just be cool while I kind of learn and get the inside uh, scoop on that thing. 
All right? So that's all I really got to say. Uh, what's your opinion? Do you think I really looked into it too much or I'm just a kook and out of my mind? Whatever you think, comrade. But the only thing I will say in closing of this video is keep Christ in Christmas. That's it.